Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Today I want to run through my latest power bill. Quick reminder, I live in Sydney, Australia. I've got a family of four. This electricity bill is from February to May of this year, which is autumn in Sydney. I ran my pool pump about three hours per day. I've got an 8.4 kilowatt solar array and a 13.5 kilowatt hour power wall too. Just take note that I only installed an additional 5.4 kilowatt of solar midway through this bill. So this is my bill right here. So as you can see at the top here, 13th of Feb to 13th of May, 90 day period, my power company said that I used the equivalent of uh, less than a one person household. I used 124 kilowatt hours of uh, electricity from the grid, which is less than a tenth of what a one person household would use in my neighborhood. So I'm pretty happy with that. I paid on average $1.04 to the power company I used 1.38 kilowatt hours of electricity per day from the grid. Same time last year, 5.71. So a big difference has been made by installing 5.4 kilowatt of solar. And I'll run through that a bit later on. Have a look at this graph down here. So as you can see, this time last year, 12 months ago, compared to now, big difference. Big difference from now till then. So winter months coming up. I'm very interested to see what that's going to look like compared to same time last year. I'll keep you posted, of course, with my next bill in three months' time. So overall, with my discounts, I was charged $87.28. And I'll run through that very shortly with you. So let's have a look here. These are the breakdown numbers for each period. Um, for peak, off-peak, shoulder, control load two, and supply charge, I paid uh, $81.82 for the electric car charge, which is, which is that $1 per day electric car plan with AGL, which allows me to charge my electric car as much as I want. Uh, Feed-in tariff, one megawatt hour of power, so 1,077.45 kilowatt hours. Uh, feeding into the grid at 11 cents per kilowatt hour, $119.60. So it brings that to a total of $93.44. Discounts applied if you pay on time, $87.28. So I want to show you this because this is quite interesting. So compared to this time last year, so this is right now, 13th of Feb, 13th of May, 2019. Uh, as I said, I only installed my uh, new solar panels on the 5th of March, midway through this period. I paid $93.44 this time round. Have a look at this 12 months ago. So one, two, three, four bills ago. Uh, similar period last year, $259.14. So compare this number to this number here. That's a 65% reduction. Amazing. With an additional 5.4 kilowatts of solar. So I'm pretty happy with that. And that's already one of the lowest periods compared to the last four periods over the last year. So where was that difference made? So have a look at the two differences here between this bill and this bill last year. So in the peak, not much difference, maybe 10 kilowatt hours difference between this year and last year. So that dropped about half in price. Off peak is uh, where it made a big difference. So this year I only used 68 kilowatt hours off peak. Whereas last year, 250 kilowatt hours equivalent period. Uh, so there's a big saving there. $10 this time around versus $37. Shoulder period about the same, 44 kilowatt hours versus 52. $10 I paid this year, $11 last year. Controlled load too. Now this also made a dif big difference because uh, after the first month, I realized that if I switched my hot water usage to uh, the daytime when the sun is out, I used a lot less electricity because the sun could cover the energy usage then. So this time around, I only used 2.5 kilowatt hours in the control load two period. I only paid 43 cents and I haven't used anything since I switched to solar. Uh, whereas last year, 181 kilowatt hours, $30. So you can see a big difference there, $30 saving between last year and this year. Supply charge remains the same. Electric car charge also the same. Another big difference was the feed-in tariff. So I exported 1,077 kilowatt hours and I was paid $119.60 from the power company. Compared to last year, 224, paid only $25. So as you can see, the differences were made in the off-peak period, the controlled load to, and also the uh, feed-in tariff as well. So in summary, like I said, with the additional 5.4 kilowatt panels in autumn, there was less off-peak grid usage. My hot water electricity comes directly from solar now and I exported far more solar back to the grid as well. All right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know how you went with your latest power bill as well. Love to hear from you. And as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. 
If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. Happy charging!